Greetings, friends. Welcome back to another short video. And as always, we will upload the audio for the podcast listeners. Today, I'm going to read from the book of James. And James is one of my favorite epistles uh, in all the Bible. And maybe it's because James hits on things that are just uh, kind of near and dear to my way of thinking. Or maybe because he dr addresses many of the frustrations that I have with uh, modern faith, um, modern Christians. And um, so it's it's one of those things. I've really wanted to write uh, a new book uh, or a new devotional dealing with the general epistles. Um, and I just haven't found the motivation yet. Uh, so pray for me. Pray that I would have the motivation and the strength and the anointing to do that because I, I think there's just so much relevance found in the general epistles, which is James, First and Second Peter, First, Second, Third John, and the Book of Jude. Uh, it's prof it's prophetic. It, all of those epistles speak loudly to our generation and to our time, and so Lord willing. Uh, I'll get the blessing, the anointing, whatever you want to call it, uh, motivation uh, to start putting some together. I'm just going to read, uh, starting with verse 22. Um, just so important. It's something that we've all heard before, but I just encourage you to open up your hearts and let it speak loudly to you. And then I'm going to address a thought. Uh, that I think is a common misconception throughout reading all of the epistles and and all of that. So there we go. So it's James, starting with verse 22, for, or chapter 1, verse 22. But prove yourselves doers of the word, and not merely hearers who delude themselves. I believe the King James says, deceive themselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his natural face in a mirror. For once he has looked at himself and gone away, he immediately forgotten what kind of person he was. But one who looks intently at the perfect law, the law of liberty, and abides by it, not having become a forgetful hearer, but an effectual doer, this man will be blessed in what he does. James is saying, if all you do is listen to God's word, maybe you listen to preaching on Sunday morning, maybe you listen to this podcast and you hear the word of God, but it brings forth no action. No transformation in your life. All you do is hear it, but then you go and you do and you live just like you did before you heard it. You deceive yourself. And I would argue he's saying you deceive yourself about your faith, about following Christ. Actions matter, right? You've heard me say, let's say it again. Actions matter because actions demonstrate what I truly believe. James is the king of that thought. He says, prove yourself that you're doers of the word, meaning you hear the word and follow its instructions and live that out in your life. If you hear it, but you don't do it, you deceive yourself. And you're, it's as silly as walking up, seeing your reflection in a mirror, but as soon as you walk away, you've forgotten what you look like. How many people do this? How many of us are guilty of this? We hear the word. We're like, yeah, that's true. Ten minutes later, <laughs> it's not even a thought in our mind. We're not practicing it. We're not living it. It's like we didn't hear it. That's what James is talking about. But one who looks intently. So this is the person who's really trying to absorb this, tr absorb truth, absorb God's word in both faith and practice. 
the one who looks intently at the perfect law, the law of liberty, and abides by it, not having become a forgetful hearer, but an effectual doer, this man will be blessed in what he does. Here's what I think the mistake is that people make when they see the word liberty in the Bible, specifically the New Testament scriptures. Immediately they go to the greasy grace thought, which is not the thought that James is putting forth. Does greasy grace seem to fit the context of what James is talking about? But here's what people do. Oh, liberty. Liberty means I'm free to sin. The freedom. I'm free. I don't have to worry about God's instructions and law anymore. James is talking about the the liberty that James is talking about, and I would argue just about anywhere you find the word liberty in the New Testament, it's talking about freedom from the bondage of sin. When Christ sets you free, he's setting you free from the bondage, the power of sin. He's not setting you free to sin, but from sin. Now, doesn't that context, uh, doesn't that fit the context of what James is talking about a little bit better than James is saying, don't just hear it, do it. But by the way, you have liberty to do what you want. Come on. But that's what people think and that's what is taught. Now, you know why I love James so much. It's, it's spot on with, with the things that I've, that I'm thinking and uh, being frustrated by. Not just what I see in the world, but even in my own life. I'm like, come on. Don't be a hearer only. Don't just have the head knowledge. Get it inside you and practice it. Be an effectual doer. This man person who does what God's word says, who takes it seriously, who's trying to embed it in his every, every, all parts of his being, that law of liberty, the freedom from the bondage of sin. This man will be blessed in, what it, in whatever he does. Well, there you go. And maybe I don't need to write a book on that, on this stuff. Maybe I just need to do these short videos every week. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I just want to thank the Patreon subscribers. Um, you know, there's just in the podcast alone, there in, there's 10,000 downloads a week, and there's about 30 people who support the broadcast. And so I'm very grateful to all of you. And I don't bring that up to complain. I bring it up to just say thank you. It matters. It's important. And... I appreciate it, and I couldn't do this work. I couldn't afford the equipment, my family, everything. I'm blessed through this work, and it's my great privilege to do this work, and I just want to make sure that I'm taking the time to say thank you and that I haven't overlooked the fact that there's some of you out there who are willing to support the podcast. Same goes for those who pray. I put them in the same level of support. Prayer is extremely important. Um, as you can imagine, when you preach the gospel and you teach the truth and you do it on a platform and you send it out to thousands of people, that comes with a little bit of adversity. That comes with a little bit of resistance from the enemy and other forms of attack. So your prayers are extremely important, and I'm very, very grateful for all of you. Thanks for listening. Please share the video. Share it on social media. Especially if you think there's people that could hear a message like this. Thanks for listening. Peace and grace be with all of you. And until next time, God bless.